As of December 19, 2021, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 13,166 cases in country with 88 active cases. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 3 per 100,000 population per day with a 3 to 4 percent testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0.8. We have noted a total of 290 COVID-19 deaths. We have nine positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital, one case is critically ill and one severely ill. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received a notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of 19 new cases of the Delta variant. All of the cases are nationals. 50% of them are from the southeastern zone of the island. 11 of them are female, 8 male, and the ages range from 1 to 59 years. A total of 54 cases of the Alpha variant and 51 of the Delta variant have been diagnosed in country thus far. There is very high risk of the new variant, Omicron, being imported into the Caribbean region, given its detection in a wide range of countries. At this point, countries are advised to continue strengthening their national protocols that are already in place. The Ministry of Health continues to send samples to CAFA monthly as part of the surveillance system to detect the existence of variants in country. CAFA has the capacity to detect the Omicron variant. To date, St. Lucia has not detected any Omicron variant cases in country. Based on the information on variants, we know that they can cause severe disease or in particular to the most vulnerable. Our first line of defense must be prevention followed by control and reduced transmission measures. The effectiveness of the available vaccines suggests that the current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. In an effort to reduce the impact of this new variant and COVID-19 in general, Specific interventions are necessary. These include prevention and control measures, public health and social measures. Vaccination and booster doses for those advised remains our most important measure at this point in reducing the health implications of this new variant. We remind you of the following important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. Ensure the protocols are maintained at workplaces on minibuses and commercial and tourism sector. Use a face mask when in public places. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are direct contact of a case. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised vaccination sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster Pfizer vaccine is also available for persons who have had both doses of the AstraZeneca for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to do so urgently. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.